and counter with a ball lightning. People say that ball lightning is alive and chooses who to enter. I don't know if that's true, but it saved me from death and now I can do things that ordinary people cannot. At 30, I found myself unemployed. Our old hospital closed for repairs. Some of the staff were transferred to a new medical center, but not everyone was taken. I was just a lab assistant without a university education. So I was left without a job. After going to interviews, I got a job on a construction site as a laborer. My wife and I were expecting our second child, so I had to feed the family. One day, two co-workers, Altai and Rustam, and I had to clear the 20th floor of a business center of construction debris. A fierce storm raged over the city, but despite this, we were dragging bags to the chute to dispose of the waste. Suddenly, Altai shouted, Hey, Zora, and both he and Rustam collapsed to the floor. I looked up and saw a huge round lightning ball. It spun, hissed, and crackled, changing altitude. The glowing sphere flew towards me. I started backing away, closer to the edge of the unguarded balcony. I wanted to get to the garbage chute and jump into it. Not the best idea, of course, but better than dying from lightning. When I was a meter away from the vertical tunnel, the lightning was behind me in a hundredth of a second and struck me in the back of the head. The world plunged into darkness. I woke up. Rustam called for an ambulance. Then I blacked out again and opened my eyes in the hospital. There were changes in me that I was afraid to talk about. When someone approached me, something clicked in my head. I saw people as if on an x-ray screen. It was scary. It seemed like I was going crazy, so I kept quiet. Men from the construction site who witnessed the incident came to me. I looked at Rustam and said, you have a problem with your lungs. You need to get checked out. A doctor overheard this conversation. The doctor asked, Georgie, how do you know this? I sighed. I see, you're starting osteomyelitis. I advise you to get a Keat scan. The doctor snorted in amazement and disappeared through the door. The next day, he appeared in my ward and said, Georgie, I indeed have osteomyelitis. I checked. I offer you a job, but on one condition. You must continue your education at medical school. However, no education will make a better diagnostician than you. I agreed. Later. Altai told me that if I had jumped into the garbage chute, I would have been killed. The gust of wind tore the chute in half and directed the pipe towards the nearby fallen reinforcement. So, the lightning not only did not deprive me of life, but, on the contrary, saved me from certain death. And thanks to it, I returned to my beloved profession. By the way, we named our newborn daughter Xena, after the daughter of Zeus the god of thunder and lightning.